Mr. Speaker, I rise today to extend my condolences to the family of Vince Dooley, the legendary football coach at the University of Georgia. Coach Dooley was a talented multi-sport athlete in his youth and played quarterback for the Auburn University Tigers. In 1960, he married the love of his life, Barbara, and they have four children together. In 1963, he became the head coach of the University of Georgia Bulldogs, where he led them through 1988. During his tenure, he guided the prolific football team to a record of 201 wins and only 77 losses. Coach Dooley's teams won six Southeastern Conference championships and the momentous 1980 National Championship. As a coach, he received five Coach of the Year awards, was five times voted SEC Coach of the Year, and has now been inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. After he retired from coaching, he remained the athletic director at the University of Georgia until 2004, guiding the football program and building many other athletic programs into national powerhouses. Off the gridiron, Vince was passionate about gardening and American history and preservation. He was considered a master gardener and has a species of roses named after him. He was involved with many organizations that focused on preserving Revolutionary War battlefields and was inducted as a Georgia trustee by the Georgia Historical Society. Earlier this month, I was proud to sign on to a resolution alongside several members of the Georgia delegation thanking him for his service to our state. Vince Dooley was truly a pillar of his community, and his impact will be felt for generations to come.